In this video, I'll teach you how to create a cash flow visual report in Microsoft Project. You know, one of the underutilized features in Microsoft Project, at least according to me, is the Excel Visual Report feature, which allows you to export your project data into an Excel workbook. In this video, I'll teach you how to create the cash flow report as a visual report in Excel and then I'll show you how to tweak it to make it more pleasing in appearance. So let's get started. Before I show you how to create the cash flow visual report, let me show you how costs are actually calculated in this Microsoft Project schedule. I'll go first to the resource sheet view, where you can see that every resource in this project has a standard rate specified. Notice, for example, that Jen Blackbeard's standard rate is $100 an hour. Now let's go to the task usage view, which I've customized a bit so you can see clearly how costs are calculated. Notice that Jen Blackbeard is assigned to the task, define preliminary resources. She's assigned to work eight hours on this task. 8 hours times $100 per hour is $800 for her assignment, which then rolls up to the task itself as a task cost of $800. Also notice on the right side in the time phase view that I've included the cost row and I've zoomed it to the monthly over weekly level so that we can see how the costs are spread out over the life of the project. Now let's go ahead and create the cash flow visual report. To do this, I'll click the report tab to display the report ribbon, and I'll click the visual reports button. Microsoft Project will display the visual reports create report dialog. In this dialog, I can see the cash flow report. I'll select it. Then, down in the bottom half of the dialog, there is a pick list option, select level of usage data to include in the report. When I click this, I can see options ranging from the low end of days all the way up to years. Microsoft Project will examine the data in your project and give you a recommendation for this option. I want to use the weeks option. Then I'll go ahead and click the view button. Now in the background, what Microsoft Project will do is build the data in this project into an OLAP cube on my hard drive. Then it will launch Microsoft Excel. It'll open the template for this report and then it will connect the OLAP cube data into the visual report. Now when the report comes up, the first thing you'll want to do is to zoom out. So let me go ahead and zoom this down to 90%. In the visual report, you'll find there are two worksheet tabs, chart one, which has this interesting looking but underwhelming chart at this point, and then the task usage tab. When I click the task usage tab, here is a Microsoft Excel pivot table. I can see years, quarters, cost, and cumulative cost. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll expand the Q3 to weeks, Q2 to weeks, and then I'm going to format the data in columns D and E and change this to the accounting number format. And let's go ahead and drop off those decimal points. There we go. 
Now let's go ahead and just take another look at the chart and see how it looks now. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is a beautiful looking chart. I love it. There's only one problem. Down here, the weeks are all running together. So to resolve this problem, I'll right mouse click anywhere in that legend on the x-axis and I'll choose the item on the shortcut menu called Format Axis. Over in the Format Axis side pane, I'll choose Text Options, and then I'll click the button called Text Box. And what I would like here is the text direction, let's say rotate all text 270 degrees. Oh, nice. And there it is, an Excel visual report that shows the cash flow by week in my project with the cost per week as a column chart and the cumulative cost as a line chart. So that's how to create the cash flow visual report in Microsoft Project. Well, now you know how to create and edit an Excel visual report exported from Microsoft Project. I sure hope this video was helpful to you. As always, if it was, please like, share, subscribe, and consider leaving a comment. If you'd like to hire me to provide training for the project managers and schedulers in your organization on Microsoft Project, please do leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you right away about that. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.